everyone. I'm Mario. I'm May May's oldest son. Uh, my mom's always loved my creamy potato and kale soup, and she wanted me to share it with you all. So I'm going to start with the ingredients. Uh, first, we have four cups of chopped kale. We have in half a teaspoon of kosher salt and Italian seasoning. Uh, we have 48 ounces of reduced sodium chicken stock. I uh, have one diced medium onion here. Uh, we're going to use uh, half a cup of this uh, whipping cream and a pound and a half of quartered and pretty much diced potatoes. In this case, we use red potatoes. And the key to this is we've got a pound of mild Italian sausages. Now, this soup, some say, rivals the Zuppa Toscana of Olive Garden. But uh, I'm going to let you make it and tell us what you think. Okay, everyone, we're back and through the magic of editing, I've already taken that medium onion and sauteed it and let it sweat down. And I've added that pound of Italian sausages. Now that we've gotten this all brown and soft, as you can see, it's the onions are translucent, there's no pink left in the sausage. Uh, it's time to add the 48 ounces of chicken stock. Now the containers I had were 32 ounce containers, so I'm gonna add one whole container. more ounces. Okay, we're going to turn the heat up a little bit on that so we can get a little simmer going. But while I do that and I mix this in, I'm going to go ahead and add the salt and the Italian seasoning. Now, of course, I said we're going to use half a teaspoon of each. But like all recipes, you're going to have to season this to taste. But we're going to start off with half a teaspoon. So here's a half a teaspoon of kosher salt. And a half a teaspoon of Italian seasoning. Get this in here and let it start flavoring the broth along with the onions and the... Uh, sausage and then we're going to bring in the heavy hitters which is the potatoes well I said we were going to bring this up to simmer but that's actually incorrect the recipe calls to add all the way up to the potatoes and then let it come to simmer the kale and the cream will come after it has been simmered and are cooled down. So I'm adding in this pound and a half of potatoes. Use any type you like. Um, I go with gold, golden or red potatoes in general. They make a great taste. They have a great flavor to it and, and they, they basically break down and become soft uh, pretty quickly. Okay, we're gonna let it come to a boil. Okay, everyone, we're back, and as you can see, we've got the onions, sausage, <coughs> potatoes, the salt, and Italian seasoning. It's all at a pretty low a roaring boil now. It's probably been boiling for maybe five to ten minutes. Potatoes are starting to do their thing, get softened up. Now it's time to add the kale. So here we go, adding four cups of chopped kale. Kale is a interesting green. You know, it's hadn't been used in the South a lot until recently, but it's similar to a collard. It's a mix between like a collard and a turnip in the fact that when it breaks down, 
I mean, it goes from a lot of greens to not very many. So when you hear me saying four cups, that's that looks like a lot as I add it, but it will cook down uh, quite nicely and it, it won't be overwhelming or overpowering the soup. incorporated into here get it all mixed up in this broth and we're pretty much half we're more than halfway home now kale in here like I said it's surprising how quickly once you get kale with some nice seasoned warm liquid how it'll take on the taste of the the liquid and how quickly it breaks down. You, you saw I had to add though that, that in two steps just to get it in there, but in, in less than a minute it's already breaking down and it's sitting nicely in the pan. So now in order to let it do its thing and really marry together, I'm going to put the top on it and turn it up to get a little more of a rapid boil. That's gonna finish softening the potatoes up. Like I said, it's gonna help marry the broth onto the kale. Get all that seasoning and salt mixed in there with it together. And we'll be right back to show you the final steps. Okay, everyone, we're back. And as you can hear and soon see that I got a good roaring ball going now. So I'm gonna check it. The texture of these potatoes, you don't want them to be so soft that they become mashed potatoes, but um, as you can tell now, this is still looking more like a stew and not the, the Zupa Toscana that I said that it's gonna resemble. So I'm gonna show you the kicker to that in just a moment. But look, I'm checking. Okay, these potatoes are what we call fork tender. They're, they're, they're pretty much done. So what I'm gonna do now, is actually turn the heat down. I turned this down from medium heat to just a little above low. And it's time to actually take a masher and start mashing some of these this potatoes and this kale and all this up to get it all incorporated together to turn it into that soup that we're talking about. Now I'm gonna mash them completely and I don't wanna mash them all, but it's, you just gotta start integrating it. Put the masher in there, move it around a little bit. Like I said, I don't want to by no means mash them all. We want a little texture of the potatoes left in there. We want to get a good creaminess to the base from this potato. Right now it's still basically a broth base. So, and we're gonna go cream based, well cream and potato based. So mashing it up. looking pretty good. I'm gonna check it. See if I feel like I need a little more mashing. See we got a few big pieces in there. We, Like I said I don't want to mash it completely but in general that's about where I want it at. So I'm gonna put the strainer away and here's the last step actually. I'm gonna put the strainer away and Turn the heat completely off. With the heat completely off, and I'm starting to stir it, I'm going to actually slowly add in the half a cup of cream. And right before your eyes, you see it starting to turn into what we know as that Italian potato and kale soup. I know you guys were saying it's supposed to be creamy potato soup, Mario. 
looks pretty stock based to me but there you go there's the cream at the end and I tell you what like I can't I can't express enough that you all need to salt and add the Italian seasoning uh, to taste and in my opinion getting the amount of Italian seasoning in here is what really puts this up over the top and what really makes it compare to the Zupa Toscana that's cooked uh, uh, for you at Olive Garden. I mean you get the Italian seasoning right and you will say that you got a contender here. Uh, like I told you and as you can see from earlier I'm a big eater. I'm a big guy. We have plenty of chunks of potatoes in here, plenty of kale, plenty of Italian sausage. We like to eat this as an entree. A bowl or two of this and we'll be full. We don't really use it as just an appetizer you know although we all always like to cook it along with the the multiple things that go on at the holiday uh, table but uh, you can really get two bowls of this and be warm for the winter and and full for the night and uh, if you have any questions uh, please comment uh, after subscribing to my mother's page may may happy table and we'll be happy to answer any questions you have and if anything else, fix anything else you want to be fixed. Thank you. Okay, everyone, and here's the finished product. Uh, hope you enjoy it. Like I said, it is very uh, creamy and hearty and it'll stick to your ribs. So please, everyone, dig in.